Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teacher and Student and in this video I will show you how to back up your Moodle courses. Backing up your course is basically the process of taking all activities and resources from your course, putting them all together in one single file, which you can then store wherever you like, on your desktop, shared drive or even on a USB stick. You should definitely on a regular basis make a backup of your courses for the simple reason that you have all your content at an external place in case your Moodle site crashes or you want to move your course content to a different site. I mean you've taken so much time to set up your beautiful courses so you should also keep them safe. Let's now do the course backup, it's very easy to do. First you navigate to the course that you want to do the backup for. Then you click on the gear icon in the top right corner and select backup from the drop down. This will now give you the option to select what you want to include in your backup. I usually include everything except for user related data. So I just want to back up the course content itself with the activities and resources but without any input that users might have provided like forum posts or grades that they received. So I untick the checkbox include enrolled users. What you see when I do that is that all user related fields automatically get disabled as well. By the way some of you might not even be able to select include enrolled users because this is a higher admin option and usually not for teachers. In that case you don't even have to worry about it. However if you have a higher role and want to include user data you would need to keep the enrolled users tick box selected. The backup would then include the grades of users and all their contributions to activities. But please be aware if you then restore the course in a new site it is not a fresh course because it already includes all existing user contributions. Okay. Once you have selected everything that you want to include in the backup you scroll all the way down and click on jump to final step. This saves you some time because if you click on next you would have to go through a couple of pages that just display everything in a lot more detail what you have already selected here. You should only use the next button if you want to select individual activities or resources that you want to include in the backup. So I could for example say I don't want to have this and this activity included in the backup but I want to keep the rest. You would then click next again and get another overview of what you have selected. This page here would also give you the opportunity to change the name of your backup file which might be handy. If you don't want to change the name the file would just carry this Moodle created name. And now you would simply click perform backup. In this case as I said before I go back and click on jump to final step. Moodle then automatically starts the backup process and after a while gives you a green notification that the backup has been created successfully. In my case that went super quick because I barely had anything in my example course. For you the backup process can take a lot longer especially when you uploaded big files like videos directly to the course that you are backing up. After successful backup you can now click on continue and Moodle takes you to the place where all your course backups are stored. Here you can see the name, time when the backup was created and also the size of the backup file. So this backup storage place that Moodle just navigated me to when I click the continue button can be found when you are in a course. Click the gear icon and select restore from the drop down. Now to get this file out of your course site and onto your own computer you can just click on the download link here of the backup you want to export and save it to your computer. Once you have the file on your computer please be aware that you can't open the file by simply double clicking on it. The file is a very special file and only works as a storage file of all the activities and resources. In order to display the activities and resources the file needs to be imported or restored back to a Moodle course. How this restore process works I will show you in another video. But that's how you easily create a backup of your Moodle course. I hope the video helped you. 
If you like the content and want to watch a lot more Moodle tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. All the best and see you next time.